fellow race fans, and welcome to the More Freedom Stock Car Racing Season Preview Show. Today we'll be going over the More Freedom Series Season 3 and the IROC Series Season 2. This year, we will be continuing to use NASCAR 2003 for all the races. I had explored the possibility of using iRacing to record the races, but due to some possible issues with iRacing and what tracks may or may not be broadcast, coupled with the cost to purchase tracks, I've made to the decision to stick with NASCAR 2003 as the platform for the More Freedom Stock Car Racing, at least this season, this year, possibly going forward, continuing on after this season and this year. Uh, to kick things off, let's get started with the IROC Series Season 2, presented by More Freedom Trucking. For this season in the IROC Series, we'll continue to use the Pontiac Firebirds that we used in Season 1. The paint schemes on the cars will be will continue to be the base colors used on the driver's cars in the More Freedom Series, and we'll have the driver's More Freedom Series number on the cars as well just like we did in a season one. As with last season, the points in the IROC series will be the same point systems that we, the same point system that we use in the More Freedom series. Uh, lead a, if you lead a lap, that's five bonus points. Lead the most laps, five bonus points. Pulls, pull position, five bonus points. And lead it halfway, five bonus points. With 17 drivers this year in the series, First place will receive 147 points, and down to 17th, they will receive 68 points. So let's go through your drivers this year, this season, in the IROC series. First, we have the number one of Jamal Jackson. Next will be the number three of Geek Girl Games. Then we have the seven of Seabass. Then we have the 07 of Douche Baggins, last season's IROC Series champion. Then we have the number 13 of King of the Aces, season one of the More Freedom Series champion. Then we have the number 22 of Moon Bunny. As you'll know, that's a name change for Moon Bunny this year. Then we have the number 25 of JTM 2588. The number 30 of Corvette Stingray. The number 55 of Ida. The number 57 of Nail Clipper Flipper, the 69 of Arco Creates, the 72 of Duchess, the number 80 of Paul Garrick, the number 96 of Nico2588, the More Freedom Series Season 2 Champion and also Race Winner. Then we have the 187 of Johnny T. Homicidal. The 420 at Queen of Hearts and rounding out your field this year will be the 660 of Garrett Miller. That's your drivers this year for the IROC series presented by More Freedom Trucking. Almost said the More Freedom series. Uh, let's go through your schedule real fast. So there will be eight races this year in the IROC series. So let's get started. On February 27th, we'll kick off the season with IROC Daytona. And every four, basically once a month at that point, we go into the next race. So like every four weeks. So February 27th, I Rock Daytona. Then we go to April 3rd, which will be I Rock Darlington. May 8th, we'll have I Rock Milwaukee. June 12th, we will have I Rock Nashville. June 24th will be I Rock Las Vegas. August 28th, I might have said June 24th, but that would be July 24th will be IROC Las Vegas. August 28th will be our only road course and first road course for the IROC series with the um, IROC at the Charlotte Roval. So IROC Charlotte will be on the Roval this year. October 22nd, we go to IROC Michigan. And to round out the season on November 6th, we will have IROC Talladega. So that's your IROC schedule for this year. Again, eight races should be an exciting season, and I am looking forward to it and seeing all 17 of those drivers on the track. Next up, 
we have the More Freedom series, season three. For this season, in the More Freedom series, we will be expanding the manufacturer lineup with the addition of Toyota coming on board. So the manufacturers for this season in the More Freedom series will be Chevy, Dodge, Ford, Pontiac, and Toyota. So we're going to see which teams make the switch between manufacturers this year. I've already heard that there was a possibility of switching from this manufacturer to that manufacturer. So we're going to see what happens as the Toyota has come on board with the More Freedom Series. So it should be an exciting, silly season to see which or which which uh, which race team is switching to what manufacturer. So the point system will remain the same as it was in a season two. Uh, if you lead a lap, you get five bonus points. You lead the most laps, five bonus points. You get the pole position, five bonus points. You lead it halfway, five bonus points. Uh, with 42 drivers in the series, first place will receive 147 points all the way down to 42nd, which will receive one point. So for the drivers in the More Freedom series, as of this week, driver applications are open for the More Freedom series. To be a part of the series, you will need to be an active participant in both the Discord and the Twitch channel. Preferences, preference goes to those drivers who are already a part of the series. Once those drivers are all sorted out, I'll see how many spots... Re are remain open in the series and I'll be posting those openings in the discord server. So there'll be lots of information there. There will be a form to fill out for your race team or your driver, maybe your race team um, and all that stuff. So look for it in the racing series channel in the discord, but we're going to see who the drivers are this coming season. So let's go through your schedule for the More Freedom Series Season 3. This season in the More Freedom Series, we will feature 37 total races with 36 of those races being points-paying races and the All-Star Race coming at North Wilkesboro at the halfway point of the season. So one thing that will be changing is, is that these will just be track names and distances or laps as opposed to um, in the past where it was, you know, like sponsored race and anything just in case, just in case sponsors have it or, you know, companies have issues with me putting their name on fictitious races. So just trying to get away from that. So you're going to hear a little bit different as we go through the, the schedule here. So let's go through, the first half of season three of the More Freedom series. So week number one, we head to Daytona on March 3rd for the Daytona 100. Week two will be at Charlotte on March 10th for the Charlotte 80. Week three will be at Martinsville on March 17th for the Martinsville 100. Week four will be at Atlanta on March 24th for the Atlanta 100. Week 5 will be at Rockingham on March 31st for the Rockingham 80. Week 6 will be at Darlington on April 7th for the Darlington 74. Week 7 will be at New Hampshire on April 14th for the New Hampshire 60. I might have said that was week 8, but this is week 8 at, at our first road course of the season. Week 8 will be at Watkins Glen for the Watkins Glen 44. Week nine will be at Coca-Cola, which is a fictitious, fictitious track that came with NASCAR 2003 on April 28th for the Coca-Cola 102. Week 10 sees us go to Chicagoland on May 5th for the Chicagoland 80. Week 11, we head to Milwaukee on May, number, on May 12th for the Milwaukee 80. Week 12 on May 19th, or <laughs> sorry, week, week 12, we head to Indianapolis on May 19th for the Indianapolis 80. All these numbers confusing my head right now. Week 13, we head to Kentucky on May 26th for the Kentucky 80. 
Week 14, we head up to Michigan on June 2nd for the Michigan 80. Week 15, we head over to Pocono on June 9th for the Pocono 80. Week 16 is at Nashville, Nashville Super Speedway, on June 16th for the Nashville 60. Week 17th goes back to, Mil to Milwaukee on June 23rd for the Milwaukee 60. Week 18 will be at Fort Wayne on June 30th for the Fort Wayne 100. The next, that's the end of the first half of Season 3. So those 18 races, first half of Season 3. And that brings us to July 7th. We head to North Wilkesboro for the More Freedom Series All-Star Race. A change for this race this year will be, this race will be a 50% race, and it will be on the YouTube channel as opposed to being streamed on Twitch. So the Twitch race was 100%. actually had two qualifying races, and then we ran a 100% race. Uh, instead, this will be a 50% race held at North Wilkesboro this year for the All-Star Race. And that goes to coincide with, not at the same date, but the NASCAR All-Star Race is at North Wilkesboro this year. And I thought it would be great to have our All-Star Race there this year as well, as it's a return to NASCAR at North Wilkesboro since like 1996. So that is our All-Star Race, 50% raise. And it'll be here on the YouTube channel. So then we head to our West Coast swing, as I call it. Uh, week 19, we head to California on July 14th for the California 50. Week 20, we head to our second road course of the year at Sonoma on July 21st for the Sonoma 46. Week 21, we head over to Las Vegas on July 20, 28th for the Las Vegas 80. Week 22 will be at Phoenix on August 4th, August 4th for this Phoenix 68. I'm getting tongue-tied now. Week 23 will be at Texas on August 11th for the Texas 100. Week 24, we head over to Kansas on August 18th for the Kansas 80. Week 25, we head back to Atlanta on August 25th for the Atlanta 75. Week 26, is, week 26 is our third and final road course of the year at the Charlotte Roval in Charlotte on September 1st. Yeah, the Charlotte Roval 80 is what we'll have then. On week 27, we head back down to Daytona on September 8th for the Daytona 75. Then up to Martinsville on week 28 for, on September 15th for the Martinsville 75. We had, on week 29, we head back to Pocono on September 22nd for the Pocono 60. And then again, back to Kentucky for week number 30 on September 29th for the Kentucky 60. Week 31 sees us again at Michigan on October 6th for the Michigan 60. Week 32, we head back to North Wilkesboro for the, the points paying race at the track on October 13th for the North Wilkesboro 80. Week 33, back to Phoenix on October 20th for the Phoenix 50. Week 34, Indianapolis again on October 27th for the Indianapolis 60. Week 35, we head all the way down to Homestead on November 3rd for the Homestead 80. And rounding out the season, week 36 at Talladega on November 10th for the Talladega 100. So that is your schedule this year for the More Freedom Series Season 3. As you can see, there are 37 races. It's going to take us pretty much the entire year to do it. And it's going to be an amazing, amazing season again uh last season in the more freedom series was absolutely fantastic came down to the final race between nico and jtm and we're going to see who wins it this year do we get king of the aces or nico as a repeat winner or do we get somebody new as your series champion so again uh all the information for this will be in the discord server in the racing series channel 
And if you have any questions, you want to be a part of the Discord, you want to be a part of the Twitch, all linked in the description below. Feel free to come over, hang out, get to know us. We're pretty, we're pretty good people. And I am looking forward to the More Freedom series and the IROC series this year. It is going to be a fan fantastic, fantastic time. So until next time, for the, for the More Freedom series, until next time, take care.